Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting of using UiPath. In today's session, we are going to discuss about XML activities. So let me know what actually this XML. So what is the purpose of storing the value in XML? Okay. So let me quickly give you a background. So why it has been used? So what is the purpose of using this? So basically, these XMLs are designed to store and transport data from like a transporter kind of an exchange between the sites database on this base. Okay. So it looks like an HTML tags. Okay. Let me show you that. So here you can see various kind of books information are stored HTML format. You can see multiple things over here. So which is book ID, author, title. So this is an XML file basically. So it has multiples of book information. So what actually we are going to do in our today's exercise. So we are going to extract this entire data and then we are going to store all this information in a spreadsheet. So let me quickly dump back to the UiPath Studio and start our today's session. As a pre-request, you can go ahead and install your uipath.web.api activities, which I already installed over here. You can see here. So you have to install this package so that you can able to see your XML activities. So let me click on cancel. Let me go to the activities. Let me look for XML. So these are the XML activity which are going to explore in our sessions. Before that, I just stored my XML files already in the particular project. So let me show you that as well. Let me go to the project. So here you can see something called as books, right? So I have opened in a Visual Studio Code Editor to make a structure to understand what actually the structure it's look upon. Let me quickly jump back to the web studio once again. Let me try to read this file and then try to interpret each and every data and extract. So let me go to the activity panel. Read. Let me drag and drop read. And then you have to map your XML file now. Let me try to map. Perfect. So once you have mapped your file, you can see your file here. And then try to create an output variable. Just your XML file. Perfect. Let me try to copy that. Click on OK. So once you have created your output variable, and then the very next step, let me serve for XML activities. So let me drag and drop deserialize XML and try to pass this as an input over here. So after that, try to create an output variable. The output variable will be in a X document. Okay. So let me try to create control K book XML document enter. Okay. So this particular variable contain the entire information, right? So let me try to print and check it first. So let me drag a right line. So as we know that, so right line will take only string. Let me try to convert this. Dot to string. Save and then debug. Perfect. Till now, just we have read our XML file and then you have made a deserialize to make a visualization of a better view and then so we have tried to write the output. I guess our execution is done. Let me go to the output panel. So here you can see all the data, right? So which you have already seen in your code editor. So let me go to the UiPath Studio. So what actually the next step we are going to do now? So we are going to interpret and we are going to extract the data. Okay. So let me go to the Studio here. Let me try to remove this now. Let me try to traverse it using for each. Okay. Let me drag and drop a for each. And then, so try to change the type argument. Okay. Since it's a X document, so the object will be an X element. Okay. So for that, let me try to change the type argument. Browse system dot xml dot link you so in this you can see something called as x element so let me yeah then click on ok so now your type argument has been changed right perfect so let me try to get this output 
and try to interpret to extract the data okay so let me call this variable and then so after that so you can see so many attributes right so in this we are going to use element okay so and then so we are going to pass the structure till where we are going to traversal and till which data we are going to extract okay so in this i was just going to mention the header first which is catalog and don't forget so if you are going to traversal to the node okay then you are going to mention as element so if you are reached the particular destination so let's assume so you want to extract author okay so no need to mention element you can mention it as elements okay so if you are going to traversal then you are going to mention as element otherwise you are going to mention as elements so let me show you that as well and then so let me try to mark this book we go over here dot elements so now i am just going to mention as a elements now okay so you can see here right function x container elements and then try to mention book perfect then click on okay after that so we are going to extract only the author name now okay so how to do that so let me try to drag and drop the right line so as we already know that so all the book information so all the book tag information will be copied to item now okay so let me try to mention our element over here okay so let me go to the visual studio code editor so book is a container right so in this book container you have several elements so this is a element and then this is a all elements small small elements so you can author title these are the elements okay so here you can see here same so likewise so we are going to extract only author from here okay so let me go here and then try to call item okay dot so once i clicked on dot so you can see all the attributes which supports the x documents so in this so we are going to pick only element right so element and then open parenthesis author after that dot values so why we are mentioning values so we no need of any tags which we are see here tags so only we need this value which is inside here right so for that we are just mentioning as a value so let me try to save this and then debug this now i guess our execution is done let me go to the output panel so here we have extracted all the authors names right perfect so the next step what actually we are going to do so we are going to create a build data table and we are going to write all the information in a spreadsheet as a output for us let me try to drag and drop build data table and then so let me try to open this up let me try to clear this perfect so in this let me start naming the column names okay so let me name it as author okay and then next so it will be a title so not only like this so for, for the data which you are getting from the api also you can make in a readable format in excel using the same approach which you are going to do now so let me just try to copy this picture and then click on okay try to add the next column header price we go back price so after that publish date publish date and then as a final one so we're going to add our description perfect let me try to remove this small d perfect click on okay so till now so we have created a schema for to store all this data okay so let me click on okay now and then try to create an output variable so which is dt book info 
and then copy this click on ok now try to drag and drop your add data row so which help you to add all the data into the data table which you have created over there okay so let me try to drag and drop over here so after that try to pass your data table perfect so in this we are going to add as a array of row okay perfect so let me try to cut this up and then delete this now for time being let me try to maximize this now so what actually we are going to do so since we are already done for author the same pattern and the same technique we are going to follow for all the attributes okay so let me try to open parenthesis close parenthesis after that this particular one the next comma and then try to copy and paste the same thing but try to change the attributes okay so let me try to change this up so after that so instead of doing this what i will do i will just copy and paste for many times and i will just finally change the column names i hope that will save our time awesome okay the next one is junior let me try to copy and paste over here after that price and then publish date and the final one as description perfect so we don't need off this one once again let me try to remove this up and then so let me check so whether we have entered everything so author title journal and then price publish date so after that description perfect and then try to click on ok now perfect and then try to save this up so after the for each try to create an excel and write all these data so let me try to use our right range let me drag and drop our right range so in this let me try to create a new spreadsheet which is book info dot xlx so in this book info perfect so let me try to call the data table now awesome and don't forget to click on this add headers that's it then click on save and try to run this now so what the entire steps will do now so it will extract all the data deserialize it will build a schema for us after that so all the data will be added into the add data row after that so we are going to use this add data row variable and we are going to write in an excel spreadsheet okay perfect let me try to save this and run this now i guess our execution is done let me go to the project so let me click on refresh so here you can see something called as book info dot xlx try to open this up so as output we should get all the information of the all books so authors journals titles everything so let me try to wrap it up so we have all the authors and then all the title of books and then journals price all the information we have extracted perfect right so likewise if you have any xml data you can able to interpret with each and every data and you can make it up in any readable format which you needed so in a spreadsheet or in any data source or data table so anything can be done using this xml activities so i hope you like this session thanks for watching happy learning have a good day